Hello, this is Byrne, and if you're asking yourself the question, is the kind of guy that I want even out there? Well, you are in luck, because on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you the answer to that question and what you can do about it, starting today. Hello, this is Byrne. Welcome to your great life to be.com a space where I share with ambitious, successful, heart-centered, conscious women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and create the connection with the kind of guy that you want as a result of stepping into the most alive and conscious version of yourself and feminine version of yourself with no gimmicks, no manipulation, uh, no crazy techniques, <laughs> uh, and enjoy the process of doing so. Now, if you've been dating for a while, this title of this video does not come as a surprise for you. You might be asking yourself, WTF, where on earth are the guys that I'm looking for? So before I answer the question, is the guy that you really want out there, I'm gonna say to you that 95% of the men out there will not be a fit for you or the kind of relationship you want. Not because I don't think guys are great, because they may be looking for something different, because they may not be compatible with you. It's not just that they're not a fit for you, you may not be a fit for them also, right? And a percentage of them don't want something profound. That's the truth. I'm not gonna hide and say, well, everybody wants a passionate relationship. Some guys just want to con connect with you and fuck. And that's not what you're looking for, right? So there's a percentage of guys out there who want something simple, plain, they're not, they're not looking for something profound. That's part of the answer. but. A part of the answer is also because some of the guys are looking for something different uh, than you're looking for, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that, it's variety, right? So here's the kicker. So the answer is the guy that you want out there, yes. That's the good news. The bad news is it's not as CC as you think it is, right? Why? Because if most guys are not a fit, you're gonna have to go through some guys in the path of looking for the actual relationship that you feel is fulfilling, and say no to, some, to several men before you create the connection you want. On average, Some, it might be that you connect with him and it's the first one, but if it's not the first one and it's the 75th one, you need to be willing to put in the time. Does that make sense? So here's what my first point for you. I'm gonna share with you like some simple things you can do now that you understand this and you might be saying to yourself, dude, thanks for this brilliant insight that I kind of figured out when I was 16 and you're like 45 right now. I'm not trying to like insult your intelligence by telling you something you probably already know intuitively. I wanna give, give you some tips to do something about it. The first one is, Stop complaining about the shit. Like, if you are recognizing that this thing that I'm sharing with you is the truth, and that most men out there are not a fit for you, don't complain next three guys you connect with who are not a fit. Just understand that it's part of the game that you're in right now. If you say it's gonna take 95 guys to connect with a good one, and you connect with 45 guys that are not the right fit, then instead of saying, I'm disappointed at life, you say, I'm 45 closer to getting to what I want. Does that make sense? If you take the mindset that the things, the guys that you're connecting with that are not a fit for you are not a sign that life is broken or just a sign that you want something very specific, unique, and that no other, uh, I guess, society uh, other than ours right now has been looking for. I think people in the past were looking for some different qualities and relationships and, and, and people didn't leave to be as long as we do right now. So if you found your one and you died at 45, you didn't have an extra 50 years to figure out that maybe they're not the right one, right? But right now you do. And because of that, the stakes are higher and it's more challenging to find someone that really fits the bill. So just understand that you have to go through more guys. It's not a big deal as long as you have the mindset in check in the first place. Second is that you need to have clarity in terms of what you want but not just clarity, you need to have a hierarchy of what you're looking for. That means that some things are non-negotiable, but everything can be non-negotiable. I connect with women who have a big list of things and all of them are non-negotiable and that's complete BS. Uh, why? Because uh, for anyone who says you can get exactly in everything you're looking for, I think, it's, I think it's inaccurate at best and I think it's a lie at its worst. Why? Because no matter who you connect with, how awesome he is, you will not get everything you want. There's gonna be some things that are not exactly how you envisioned them. Some things might be even better, but to say that everything is perfect and everything is beautiful, is, it's not true. You're gonna find qualities that you are not in love with and you'll put up with them if the ones that he has that are great are sufficient in number and in depth that you're willing to say, okay, uh, just like he's gonna be willing to look the other way when there's things that he doesn't like about you and you're not necessarily changing them, but it's not showstopper, right? You need to figure out what a showstopper sign in him or virtue or quality or fault and what are things that you're not thrilled about 
but you can suck it up a little bit and say, you know what, uh, it's okay. I can compromise and I can sacrifice for the sake of the relationship, right? So long as it's not something that's really important to you or that infringes in your freedoms as a human being. Uh, third is, and I say this first, and, I, and I'll, when I mention the next one, I, I need you to understand why this one is first. You need to become more masterful in opening, period. Opening your body, opening your heart, opening your soul, opening your mind. Why? Because your ability to open will be directly linked to your force of attraction. Am I saying you have to open up for guys who are not a fit for you? No, but when you do connect to a guy who's a fit for you, if you haven't practiced opening, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna have to put oil in the little machine and then crank it up and it's rusty. And guess by the time you open, he's gone, out of your sight, right? You need to practice opening, closing of course as well when it's necessary, but you need to practice opening so that when the right situation shows up, you have practiced and your attraction can be such that you don't waste time uh, and uh, it's a clear sign for him to approach you. It's a clear sign for him to feel something that compels him to do more, ask for your number, do soul searching, uh, pursue you in some way, get uncomfortable, fear facing rejection. Okay, so opening, the practice of opening body, heart and soul is something that you need to really uh, step into to shorten the span of time it's gonna take you to create that connection you want. If you're an amazing human being inside, and the world wouldn't fucking know it because nobody can see that opening from the outside and you're expecting for him to see you from a mile away and say, you know what, I'm willing to risk my uh, getting metaphorically punched in the nuts by approaching her, right? But there's nothing he can go for because you seem close and you seem like you're not excited to see him, then you're missing opportunities. It's not that you're not meeting the right guys at that level, it's that you're meeting the right guys but they're not finding enough punch, punchiness, awesomeness in you to actually do their work and pursue you. And rent. Next step is you need to be able to clearly communicate your standards from the beginning so that guys can self-disqualify, right? But here's why I mentioned opening first because I see a lot of women day in and day out who have a big list of things they want, but they're showing up in a way where what they want and how they're showing up are not resonating, meaning they have a level 12 on a scale from one to 10 in terms of standards, here's what I want, and they are showing up at level four in excitement openness, feminine energy. <laughs> uh, so when you are showing up in a way that's inconsistent, your standard for what you want is higher than the standard for how you're showing up for yourself, then there's a mismatch and it can't happen. So that's why I say open first and then clearly, once you've mastered that thing, clearly communicate your standards, communicate what you want, what your expectations are in terms of life for yourself and guys who want to step into that train can jump on the train with full force and guys who are dissuaded or disappointed or even repulsed by the fact that you want something that's awesome, they will self-disqualify and save you time if you're being expressive with what you want in a way that's respectful and also in a way that's inviting. Last step is, probably what the most important one is, you cannot ever, ever, underline ever, give up. <laughs> why, why do I say this? Because if you're doing the right thing, you will connect with guys who are not a fit for you. You will connect with guys who will quote unquote break your heart. You'll connect with guys who show up strong for seven weeks. Week number eight, they disappear. So because that's true, you need to be willing to say, if I'm showing up the right way and I'm learning and I'm becoming more as a result of this process, then I cannot give up because if I do, it's like I'm not honoring the path that I'm on, number one. And number two, you might be like two days away from connecting to that dude and you then you quit. And then all the work you've done will just be something you can use for yourself but never in a relationship. So understand that if you're doing the right thing, you're showing up the right way, you can't afford to give up because it's inconsistent with who you are as a human being. Hope this is helpful, useful and insightful. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel and you can even click the little bell if you want to be notified of new episodes, not miss out on <laughs> more learning here, uh, practical learning you can apply in your life. And the third and most important step, if you feel this is helpful and you want more, there's a couple of options for you. Option number one, on the first line of the description of this video, you'll find a link to a free masterclass that I created to show you how you can step into the connection 
uh, you want and the kind of relationship you want in less time. It's just taking the concepts I explained right now and going much deeper. If you say, Burn, videos are awesome and I've been watching some of yours and I really enjoy them and I feel that you get me, but I want some more sustainable help. I want real help. Hold my hand through the process of finding my soulmate and uh, help me become accountable to my own greatness. Then there's another link under the description of this video that will, uh, underneath the first link, the second link, if you click on it, you'll go to an application and you can fill it up. Uh, if I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out, schedule a time for us to connect and we'll talk. And if I feel, again, I can help you, I'll offer you a spot in my program. If you decide to join, then I'll be able to help you, handhold you through the process of getting what you want. Thank you so much for allowing me into your heart, into your home. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.